Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. Send in your questions. I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast, and I'll do my best to give you a biblical answer. I'm not a Bible answer man, but I will tell you what I think and what I believe the Bible teaches. We have a question from a listener who writes, Pastor, I listened to a preacher recently who was saying that the wicked who reject Christ do not die and go to hell and are not tormented forever. My question to you is, is this biblical? And my quick answer to you is, no, it is not. What you are describing is the doctrine of annihilation. This is taught by the Seventh-day Adventist, and I think also the Jehovah Witnesses. Let me begin my answer by saying, God is eternal, okay? Which means he didn't have a beginning, and he will not have an end. Jesus is God. He is called the beginning and the end. God is eternal. Now, the Bible teaches that man is immortal. He is not eternal, which means that he had a beginning, but he will have no end. The saved enjoy heaven after they die and the new heavens and the new earth forever after the resurrection because we are immortal. Satan, the demons, fallen angels, and sinners who have rejected Christ are going to be raised from the dead just like the saved. But the wicked are going to be raised in a body, like the saved, who will not go out of existence, but they will be cast into hell where they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Listen to the scriptural proof text for what I just said. This doctrine of annihilation contradicts the scripture. Revelation 20.20 20 says, and the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were. And they, they, the devil, the beast, the false prophet, will be tormented day and night forever and ever. The beast and the false prophet, if you look at the book of Revelation, are both men. And both are tormented forever. But we don't have to stop there. Matthew 25 verse 46 says this, And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The saved go into eternal life, life that never ends. The unsaved go into eternal punishment, punishment that never ends. It doesn't mention annihilationism because it's not biblical. I want to give you a couple more scriptures. Revelation 14, 10, and 11. Verse 10. The same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name." Those people who received the mark of the beast are unsaved. Those people who worship the beast, who reject Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, die unsaved. And the Bible is crystal clear. The smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night forever and ever. That's not annihilation. That's eternal, never-ending punishment in the lake of fire. The smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever. And there's no rest, day or night, for those who worship the beast and his image, who are people who reject Jesus Christ. I hope that helps. For more of God's Word, you can go to the BibleVerseByVerse.com and study it from Genesis through Revelation with me. And if you have a Bible question, send it to Scripture Verse by Verse at gmail.com. That's scripture verse by verse at gmail.com. One more time, scripture verse by verse at gmail.com. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break Q&A. So long, everyone.